December 7th, 2019. Yeah, Menards had a big bin of these fire starters. I thought a couple bucks I'd give it a try. It's uh, pretty dry out here. Uh, 27 degrees currently. We had a frost. I'm going to go over there and take some dead off that fallen tree and try this fire starter and see how it works. It says the woolly fire starter is easy to use, lights instantly last 8 to 10 minutes, even in damp or windy conditions. The big green egg, fire pits, campfires, chimneys, coals, Miko. Ah, Red Devil. Imagine that, cancer in California. Is there any, I think California gives you cancer. <clears throat> you can't buy anything nowadays that doesn't have a warning about causing cancer in California. This knife came with a warning that causes cancer in California. Every tool I buy, whether it's Chinese, Taiwan, made in the USA, causes cancer in, in, in California. I think California is just a cancerous state. We had a really bad wind come through. Pushed a, a fire pit backstop I had level. You can see the, it just blew it over. It was set in the mud. Of course now it's frozen. It's going to remain leaning until the ground falls out. And then that tree wasn't down, so it wasn't that cold that day, but the wind just made you not want to come out here. People just don't understand just how therapeutic sitting in front of a campfire is. Right, so this is just going to be a little bit of a rant. I see too many people out there making excuses to do something wrong because somebody else is doing something wrong. You know, that's that's the old saying, two wrongs don't make a right. Um, you know, especially when we're trying to live a biblical life, you're to do what God tells you to do regardless of what those around you are doing. Just because, uh, let's take marriage. If the husband's not doing what he's supposed to do, there's nothing in the Bible that says, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands unless. It says, wives, submit yourselves to your husbands. Period. Uh, same thing, uh, husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Period. You know, um, it's that simple. You know, you end up sounding like Adam and Eve in that garden. You know, here comes God, and they've sinned. Looks at Adam and says, what have you done? He blames his wife. He looks at Eve, what have you done? She blames the serpent. And it's pretty sad the serpent was the only one not trying to point blame at somebody. So, you know, you're going to want to live a biblical uh, worldview, a biblical life, and you got to live what the Bible says. You, you can't go around saying, well, you know, uh, somebody's not holding their end up, or so-and-so's not doing this, so that, that made it this way. No, you can't justify that. At the judgment... You stand before God and give an account for your actions, period. Uh, you look in the book of Revelation, you know, <clears throat> I think it was Pergamos. Um, you know, one of the seven churches, you know, they were in a wicked city. It was where Satan's uh, throne was. But that didn't give them an excuse to live an ungodly life or step outside the bounds of what God said to do. So stop making excuses for to justify something that's wrong if it's wrong it's wrong and that's my rant yep therapy time is over got some work to do i uh did a map my hike on the way in it was 1.8 kilometers from the parking lot to here i'm going to take a different way back and see if it's uh shorter and in case you were wondering, I always practice good fire safety. That thing is out.
I got the supplies put back up. Fire's out. You can hear the train. And back home. Okay, so it was 1.8 kilometers. The one route, 1.3 on the way back. So it's 0.5 kilometers quicker on the secondary route. So I'll remember that on the days that I have a heavier load. Other than that, I really don't care. Uh, you know, I come out here for exercise, but when you got 30, 40 pounds on your back, I want the quickest route possible.